Sometimes when you listen to a heavy song and enjoy it, you wonder, how can you possibly enhance or expand your experience? Well, a music video can be a good way, but what fully changes your perspective on the song is an acoustic version. There's plenty of examples of great acoustic versions like Ask and Alexandria's recent Into the Fire and Alone in the Room which brought new emotions to already great songs and portrayed lyrics in a slightly different, more clear way. Almost any pop song has the potential to become a brilliant acoustic song too. Also, Normandy's Collide and Believe are two gorgeous examples of beautiful new experiences on already great songs. But as you know, we don't usually stick to the good stuff on this channel. The reason you're watching this video today is because like Master Flames, Dark Divine Reimagined EP. Long story short, it is a lifeless, boring and lazy attempt to create an acoustic. There is plenty that's wrong with this EP, but my main complaint is the fact that instrumental of an acoustic is simply a copycat of the original in every possible way. The thing is, there are songs that have potential to be great acoustic songs, and there are songs like Nowhere Left to Sing, which needs a lot of adjustments and a lot of extra work little touches to become a great acoustic piece. Replicating electric guitar parts with acoustic guitars is not something that creates a beautiful involving artistic experience and a different perspective on the song. The other two songs, Empty the Same and Even God Has a Hell, work much better and significantly better sounding in acoustic setting than Nowhere Left to Sink, but they literally give nothing new to the song in terms of instrumental or even vocal. So pretty much every single song, which is three, has the same exact problem. They are softer copycats of the originals. I'm not saying this little acoustic EP does not have a right to exist. It certainly will find its fans, but from a musical standpoint, even though vocals are incredible, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that, and mixing sounds crisp too, these acoustic versions are nothing more than just softer copies of originals. What I am trying to say is that there's a difference between electric and acoustic guitars, obviously. It's not necessarily in how to play, but more in what to play. Playing electric guitar riffs with an acoustic creates this awkward emptiness in the sound. It is lazy and it does not create something new, rather it replicates something that already exists, but worse. Altering originals riffs and breakdowns, especially breakdowns, can potentially make acoustic sound much more full and rich. And in case of Like Moss to Flames, it is just awkward and empty. To create a nice contrast, I'd like to mention Wage of War's recent uh, Johnny Cash stripped version. go-to perfect acoustic version as it delivers a completely new experience on the song. To judge acoustic versions, simply what you have to do is imagine the original does not exist. What are you left with? Are you left with a full and rich and original experience that is not relying on original to back it up? Or are you left with like Most of Flame's Dark Divine reimagined EP? Quick thing before uh, this video ends. Um, Next couple of weeks are going to be insane for this channel. There's going to be plenty of new videos coming out soon. Um, one of which is going to be a video that a lot of you expected. And also December, the ending of December is going to be fun. Hardcore awards thing that we've done in the past year, uh, which is pretty much like a summary of 2018 in terms of metal music. All I need from you guys is activity. So if you're new on the channel, subscribe. Um, if you have something to say about 2018 in terms of music, like what's what's your best song you ever heard, what's the best breakdown you ever heard this year, comment down below, I'll make sure to read all the comments. This has been Hardcore, to the next one.